Recently, one of my students got a tricky data interpretation question. So I thought of making a video on that. So I included two similar type of questions in this video. This is the first type of question in which we are provided with a year on year change in profits at company X. So on the upper side, we have positive percentage change and lower side, we have negative percentage change. And uh, this is divided in years from 2004, 2005, 5 to 6, 6 to 7, up to so on. And just like if we see the first bar, that will be 2% increase in, uh, in profit so that's mean at the start of 2004 if that value is 100 so at the end of 2004 that there will be increase of 2% and whatever the value that is at end of 2004 that will again same at the start of 2005. Now if we move to the question so what is the first question that what was the overall percentage change in profits at company X from 2007-2009. So we are asked to find the percentage change from this point until this point. So there are many ways to solve this. One is a conventional way in which you assume the value and proceed with that. But that will be a bit time taking approach. For this in which there is subsequent percentage change, there is a shortcut. Just like in this scenario, there is a, for example, if you call this as A, this as B there is a subsequent increase of A percent and then B percent. So for that the formula is A plus B plus AB over 100 overall percentage change. So A is 3 percent, B is 5 percent. So this will be 3 plus 5 plus 3 into 5 over 100 into percentage. So that will be 3 plus 5, 8 plus 15 over 100 total percentage change and that is equal to 8.15 percent. So that means that from 2007 to 2009 there is a percentage change in profit of 8.15 percent and that is percentage increase. That's why the answer to this is option D. Likewise you can solve this by assuming a value but that will be a bit time taking approach so I will recommend you to use this. Now this is the second question that if the company X made a profit of 25 million in 2005 what was the profit in 2006? So this is a very simple question that the company is making a profit of 25 million in 2005 so what is the profit in 2006? So whatever the profit is, there will be an increase of 4%. So if at start the value is 25, so what will be the value after the increase of 4%? So that will be 25 and if I keep this simple 25 into 4%. So that will be 25 into 1 plus 4% and this will be 25 into 1 plus 0 0.04 and that is 25 into 1.04. Now one way is you can use a calculator but I will not recommend that. Instead of that I will recommend you to use 1% and 10% rule. So whenever you see a percentage question always convert that number into 1% and 10%. So what is 1% of this? The 1% of this will be whatever the value is divide that by 100. If we divide 25 by 100 that will be 0 0.25 and will be 10% if we divide that by 10 that is 2.5 we are asked to find the 4% increase so if this is 1% what is 4% that is 4 into 0 0.25 which is equal to 1 so there is increase of 1 so overall in first we have 25 and by increase of 4% there is increase of 1 so overall the answer is 26 million it's up to you. You can use a calculator, but try to avoid calculator as much as you can so that you can save time for the difficult questions. This is the third question that which of the following statements are true? Indicate all possible answers. So first thing is company exchange in profit from 2005 to 2007 from this point to this point. What is at the same as from 2007 to 2008? Let's see that there is increase of 4% from this to this point and decrease of 1% and increase of 3%. This is a trap 
question that first of all if there is increase of 4% and then decrease of 1% that is never equal to the simple one increase of 3% so I will again use the formula that first of all there is increase of 4% and then there is decrease of 1% again the formula is a plus b plus a b over 100 percent that will be 4 minus 1 plus 4 into minus 1 over 100 percent so this will be equal to 4 minus 1 3 minus 0 0.04 and whatever this value is that will be less than 3 percent and the percentage change from 2007 to 2008 is 3% so this value is less than 3% that's why this option is wrong because this option is saying that this value must be equal to 3% but in reality this value is less than 3% if the company X made 10 million in profit in 2004 at this point then it lost money from 2006-2007 so let's see if the value at, at this point is 10 and there's increase of 2% so it will be that that will be uh, if we use the 1% and 10% rule so that will be equal to uh, how much 10 divided by 100 which is 0 0.1 and 2% will be twice of this that is 0 0.2 so after 2% increase our answer is 10.2 now after that there is an increase of 4% and that will be 10.2 into 1 plus 4 percent and that is 10.2 into 1.04 and you can use a 1 percent but for this it is better to use a calculator so this came out to be 10.608 and after this there is a decrease of 1 percent so if I decrease 1 percent uh, in this so that will be 10.608 into 1 minus 0 0.01 0 0.01 so again whatever the answer is that is greater than 10 that's why the statement which provided that if the company X made 10 million at first it will lost money from 2006 to 7 that is wrong because our answer is still greater than 10 that's why again this is not possible now in point C if the company X made 15 million in profit in 2006 so then it made more than 14 million in 2005 now let's see that we have value that is 15 million at uh, 2006 so that will be same value at this point or at the start of 2006 so we need to find that what is the value of profit it make in 2005 so for that if I assume that value at A so to make up to 15 so there is an increase of 4% so A into the increase of 4% this make up to how much 15 so this A into 1 plus 0 0.04 that is equal to 15 so a into 1.04 is equal to 15 and a is equal to 15 over 1.04 and this is some value which is around 14.42 something like this value and this value is way greater than 14 that's why this option is correct and both of above options are wrong now let's move to the second question in which you have provided the percentage change in uses of operating system ios from 2001 to 2008 so the percentage positive change in upward direction and negative change in downward direction so whatever the value at the start of 2001 at the end there was increase of 10 percent 5 percent up to so on now let's move to the question so first question is if at start of 2004 59500 users were using ios what was the approximate number of users of ios at the start of 2006 so at the start of this point we have such number of users and uh, we are asked what are the number of users at the start of 2006 at this point so in this there is a decrease of 5% and there is an increase of 5% and 
and we need to find at this point so that will be same point as at the end of 2005 so you can either used by assuming this value or i will simply use the formula i discussed earlier so that is uh, there is a decrease of how much decrease of 5% and there is increase of 5% remember if there is a subsequent increase and decrease of same percentage that will never be same so if i use the formula if a is equal to minus 5 and b is equal to 5 so that will be a plus b plus ab over 100 200% so that will be minus 5 plus 5 plus minus 5 into 5 by 100 so this will cancel out this is 5 this will cancel out and this will be minus 25 over 100 so this will be minus 0 0.25 so whatever our actual value is at the start of 2006 that will be decreased so if you see all of the options only this option in actual is less than 595,000 all other values are greater this is equal to but whatever our answer is there is a decrease of 0.25 percent that's why the answer to this is option a so this is a very quick way in other way you can uh, use this and by using a calculator but that will be a time taking approach instead use this formula and quickly solve this question and this is a logical way there is a decrease and if you see the option there is one only one option in which the, our value is decreasing rest this is in this the value is remaining same and all of the other values are increasing that's why the answer to this is option a so the answer is option a now let's see the next question what was the total percent change in number of users of operating system ios from start of 2001 to the start of 2004 so there is a 10 percent increase five percent increase and zero percent increase so it's up to you you can use the formula or you can simply assume the value now if i want to uh, use the formula remember those formula is only for two values so there is an increase of 10 percent and increase of 5 percent so a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 5 so that will be 10 plus 5 plus 10 into 5 which is 50 over 100 percent so this will be 15 plus 0 0.5 which is 15.5 percent now there is 0 percent so that there will no change in the value so if one thing is uh, increase of how much 15.5 percent and the other is 0 percent increase so there will be no effect 15.5 plus 0 plus 0 percent that will be same as 15.5 percent that's why the answer this is option c the reason why i'm stressing on this formula that there's high probability of getting uh, at least one to two question in exam regarding this so it's better to use this formula that's why the answer this is option c and this is the last question which is which are the following statement can be inferred from the given data indicate all possible answers now let's see the first one number of users at the start of 2002 was same as the number of users at the end of 2004 so this is again using the tricky concept that there is an increase of 5% and decrease of 5% remember one thing whenever there is subsequent increase or decrease on same value the result is never same the reason is that if I have 100 at first I am increasing this 5% so 5% of this is 5 so this is 105 now if I want to decrease by 5% remember now our denominator is 105 not 100 so if I want to decrease the value is itself less than 100 that's why our answer is never same our answer is less than the actual value the second point total percentage increase in number of users of ios from start of 2005 to the end of 2006 there's a five percent and there is ten percent again using the formula a is equal to five b is equal to ten so that will be five plus ten plus five into ten by hundred and again what uh, as we done earlier that this is 5 plus 10 15 15 plus 0 0.5 that is 15.05 percent and this was greater than percentage increase in ios user 2007 yes because from this to this one the increase of 15 percent 
and 15.5 percent is greater than 15 percent so this is right option now the last option is from starting of 2001 from this point to the end of 2008 to this point number of ios users were maximum at the end of 2007 okay so at the start of 2007 and the question is saying that uh, we have maximum number at the end of 2007 but that is wrong the reason is because these are subsequent percentage increases so for example if you are getting thousand at this point but this is not maximum value maximum value will be at the end of 2008 because this is a value which is at start of 2008 now there is again a percentage increase of 5 percent so if this is 1000 so the increase of 5 percent so at the end of 2008 this value is greater than 1000 that's why this is again not possible although by seeing the bar we can say that there is a maximum percentage increase but that doesn't mean we have maximum value here because there is subsequent increasing and whatever the value at this place that is same at this start 2008 and at the end of 2008 there is increase of 5 percent only option available which is right is option B. I hope that you find this video helpful if you have any doubt please let me know in the comments.